Well, I want to thank uh, my good friend from California, Juan Vargas, and my colleague from Pennsylvania, Keith Rothis, for their work together to co-sponsor H.R. 6069, the Fight Illicit Networks and Detect Trafficking Act. This is extremely important, and it's in keeping with the work that we've been doing in our subcommittee on uh, terror finance, illicit financing, and also the work we've done on this House floor about stopping human trafficking uh, that we see in this country, and also the intensive work in the last two weeks on uh, opioid work in trying to stop these kinds of drugs coming into our country. This legislation would require the Government Accounting Office, the GAO, to study and report to Congress on how online marketplaces, including those on the dark web, are used as platforms to facilitate the financing of goods associated with drug trafficking or sex trafficking. They would study payment methods, including virtual currencies, peer-to-peer -peer payment services that are also being used in drug and sex, sex trafficking online. Illicit funds that have been transmitted online and how virtual currencies are reintegrated into the U.S. financial system. And finally, Mr. Speaker, the study would have the participants of sex trafficking or drug trafficking trade online that benefit from the trade. Although virtual currencies can be used for legal purchases, they have become a common financial payment for method for criminals. Online marketplaces, including the dark web, have become a prominent platform to buy, sell, advertise for illicit goods and services associated with sex trafficking and drug trafficking. According to the International Labor Organization in 2016, 4.8 million people in the world were victims of forced sexual exploitation. And in 2014, the global profit from commercial sexual exploitation was $99 billion. According to the U.S. Treasury's 2015 National Money Laundering Risk Assessment, an estimated $64 billion is generated from U.S. drug trafficking operations. Illegal fentanyl in the United States originally originates primarily from China and is readily available to purchase through online marketplaces. And certainly all of my colleagues have heard extensively over the last two weeks the stunning horrors of how fentanyl has entered our marketplace with one estimate that just last year alone enough came across our borders in this country to kill half the U.S. population. According to the DEA in 2017, the National Drug Threat Assessment, transnational criminal organizations are increasingly using virtual currencies. This bill will allow Congress to fully understand the extent to how virtual currencies are being used to facilitate drug and sex trafficking. The bill will also study how virtual currencies can be used to detect and deter illicit activities and propose legislative solutions to fight these crimes. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Minnesota is recognized. Yeah, uh, Mr. Speaker.